So this is an overview of my makeup area. Um, so I do have the two, they're the separate five draw, um, Alex drawers. And then also this was just the table, the glass one, um, which is so easy to like clean, especially <laughs> you do get really messy when you do makeup. So yeah, this is an overview. Excuse the brown one. I wanted to get the IKEA one, but I found this. It was only like 50 pounds. So yeah, I might paint that eventually, but yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to start with the top section, so here I actually got this from, as in my previous video, um, from TK Maxx, it, I think it's supposed to be for like, I don't even know what, or books or something, so I just use my palettes, um, I've got three from Morphe, and then also like the Jacqueline Hill, I've got two of the Huda Beauty palettes, this one is my favourite, um, it's the Desert Dusk. <laughs> I just love all the colours in here and they're super pigmented. So a bit of it. And then I do have all of the um, Anastasia palettes. Um, this is like my favourite, especially because it's so pretty with the glitter. And then obviously I do have Modern Renaissance, A Subculture, Prism, Norvina, Soft Glam and Sultry. Okay, so I'll turn my ring light on because um, it was quite dark in here. But yeah, so the first draw is more of my high-end um makeup palette so I do have two of the um Huda Beauty the melted these are amazing and so blendable honestly like if you're in a rush these are so <laughs> worth having in your collection um I also have the Anastasia quad um this is when she was doing them I think it was like five dollars each or something and um, so I picked up those shades I do have four of them um, the mini Huda palettes as well as this I oh my god I can get it out this I'm obsessed with like it's she obviously made another one uh, so this was um, the Carly Bible um, original one um, these are super pigmented so you can see it in the light they're just stunning it's so sad that she has discontinued it now but so I'll try not to use it because obviously you can't get it anymore and um, so I also got the Shannon EXO palette this I love I don't use the lipstick side but the shades are stunning and they are quite similar to the Kylie um, as many of you would know <laughs> um, so that's that one and then I also picked up two of the pixie now these ones I actually got from um, TK Maxx so they were quite cheap as well as um, the Kylie seriously her pigment is unreal I've never seen a palette so pigmented so these are the shades And then also I got um, a mini tart palette. These are a pain to open. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like that. Um, I actually got this in a gift set. So you got a pouch, a mini lipstick, a perfume. Yeah, <laughs> uh, with it. But this is such a gorgeous um, compact. You can literally take this anywhere with you because it is very thin and small. So it will fit in your makeup bag perfectly. And then I also got the Naked um, a the Urban Decay Naked as well as Naked 3, Too Faced, Too Faced Love and then also the Fenty, um, the glitter one, the first one that she came out with. These two are my Zoeva palettes and those four are actually from Primark, they were like £6 but I or £4 <laughs> or um, these are just used for like Halloween looks because where it's so cheap I don't really care. Um, so my next straw is all like my cheaper drugstore kind of um, palettes so right at the front I've got all my mini ones so like Tanya Burr these ones I think I got from the market ages ago but they're like so good to use and pigmented and um, this actually got off eBay it was like a two pound uh, makeup look that I did it's actually I'll link it down below if you want to have a look but yeah so I've got some Too Faced the Sephora and a mini Morphe palette I've got a lot of MUA makeup revolution freedom um i've got like some Too Faced at the back um also this by model zone is a colorful palette show you yeah so it looks like that don't know what's happened to the orange one but <laughs> yeah so that's that yeah so that's this straw done um so the next one is my glitter drawer so I just brought my ring light down a bit but yeah so in this first compartment um, I have like all the glitter pens I've got four different Stila ones 
the gold and the silver one is my favourite as well as the um, Urban Decay ones. Um, I've also got like some eye primers. Um, I got these off Beauty Bay. They're like little red specks. <laughs> um, I have some festivals as well. So these balls of glitter, I've got a couple of them. Um, I actually went to a hair show so they use them for hairs. Um, but they said it is eye safe and I've used them on my eye and they are super pigmented. I've got um, silver, pink, white, this like um, brownie shade, blue. And then I also got um, a free gift, which is this. So it's got like, I don't know how to show you. Yeah, so it's got like um, holographic specs in there, which are amazing to use for makeup as well as art. Um, I do have three of the Anastasia glitters. These are so pretty. <laughs> um, they're super pigmented. I did buy, do you know that heart um, set that she was um, selling? I bought that so I can't wait to receive it. As well as these glitters from Masuda. I got two MAC ones. I got the mini Too Faced um, glitters which are super fine but they're super pigmented you don't get much in the pot but what can you do and then i also have these are gorgeous especially the um so it shows pink but it's actually like rose gold this is stunning um it's like, so it's really thick pieces of um glitter but if you use a really good um glitter glue this will stay in place oh it's gorgeous so at the back here i've got my mini shadows so i've got um a couple from kiko two NARS ones, this one is for like those cheap sets you get, <laughs> um, a MAC, Calvin Klein, this one's from Pop of Colour, I've got Kylie at the back and then yeah so these ones, so I've got a couple from MAC, I used to love the MAC individual ones but as you can see I do collect a lot of palettes <laughs> and then these are like some of my favourite shades so I do have two Chanel ones, this one is gorgeous isn't it? So it's a, it's a really pretty colour um, and it's perfect for like any kind of eye looks. Um, I've also got a silver one, a Nars and then Givenchy which I actually bought from Italy. So my next straw is my last straw. <laughs> so excuse the coffee stain. Um, so I actually won this in a giveaway from Tea Lashes. Their lashes are so affordable and they're literally so amazing. Um, I wish to receive maybe one day lashes from them but who knows. Um, so yeah, we'll start from here. So I do have a pair of lashes from MAC. I don't know what these are called. But yeah, um, and then I've also got two pairs from a company called New Artists. These are the Layla style. She is coming out with some more because they do dapple drops, which you'll see uh, later on in my video. Um, these are so full and fluttery. Like they're perfect for that um, smoky eye look. I do have quite a few of the Huda lashes. So I do have a pair from um, Adona Beauty, which she sent me, thank you by the way. <laughs> um, some pink goats, I've got quite a few of Allure. These are all like eBay ones that you can get literally for like two pounds. Um, I use them because they're so thin, so they look really natural, which is amazing. Um, and then glues, I do keep all the Allure ones in that little pot, but I do have, um, so my favorite is the Huda. The Huda Beauty Glue. As you can see, it's nearly over. I need to go and get another one. Um, but this one comes out super black. But I've actually started using this duo, which I got from Super Drugs. Um, but I still have to try this one, which is um, Super Drugs own brand. I haven't tried it. If you have, let me know. But yeah, so that's my lash. And the final draw of this one is my skincare, which I don't. <laughs> Honestly, like I've got so much skin products and I don't even use them that much, but I need to start. So I actually went to um, a makeup and skin like a masterclass and it, they basically took a test of your skin. And luckily mine was actually really hydrated because I thought where is so oily, uh, I break out quite easily. Um, but my skin was actually in quite good condition. So I did get um, like toners from the company face masks um, so I bought this from Chanel um, it's a toner so it's like amazing for your skin and um, it's specifically for oily skin well that's what the person told me <laughs> um, I've also got a hydro beauty gel from Chanel and um, so a Sephora cleansing milk to wipe off my makeup 
I've got these which are anti-aging um, serum as well as um, face mask um, Elmer's so some more Ioma these are like just samples that I've been given and no strips for blackheads so I love these from Bobbi Brown and um, they're hydrating eye cream I've got also one for night and day this is amazing it makes my skin feel so hydrated I wake up in the morning feeling so fresh um, I've also got who remembers this it's the bubble mask um, so the clay one that you put on and it literally makes your face like three times the size in bubbles this is amazing it literally makes your skin feel like a baby's bottom <laughs> um, I've also recently bought this um, it was $5.99 from TK Maxx I can't wait to try this so it's like a healing and toning so hopefully it will help with my skin I did also buy the three um, is it L'Oreal? yeah the L'Oreal mask so I do have Purity mask um, Glow mask and Detox mask which I do tend to use when my skin is feeling very bad <laughs> I also bought this I thought maybe it might be good so it's a unicorn uh, magic peel off face mask it does nothing honestly like it is super sticky so much glitter gets everywhere but it is cute for an Instagram pic um, so this actually was super expensive and um, it's a Dead Sea cream um, I don't use it because it was so expensive and as you can see there is still quite a lot in um, but me and my friend were shopping in Stratford and we got caught up and we ended up buying way too much skincare <laughs> that we could even afford so yeah that sits there um, that stays there I do use it once in a while but not as often as I should but yeah so that is that drawer. so the next drawer is this one um, it used to have literally everything in here so like my brows concealers mascaras eyeliners but I thought I'm gonna separate them because it was becoming too messy so in this first pot I've got all my brow stuff so here I've got a sleek um, set so it comes with the cream and the matte um, Benefit, I did actually get this in a big set which came with all the products so yeah <laughs> um, I've got a makeup revolution but this is the revolution pro brow pomade this is actually a dupe like if you can't afford the Anastasia one um, this is affordable and it does the same thing so yeah I do have two Anastasia dip brow pomades in dark brown <laughs> um, and I also recently finally bought the um, brow wiz I don't even know where I have been like honestly this is so good now I understand why people rave it so much um, also this one which I've only started using is a shade lighter so I this is perfect to like do that ombre on my brows um, I've got some NYX ones actually the rest are all NYX ones because that's what I was buying before um, I started buying the Anastasia ones um, and then here I've got all my brow gels so I've got NYX I've got this uh, Maybelline tattoo brow this is amazing it doesn't last like it will last about three maybe max four days but if you're in a rush and you don't want to wear makeup this is a good alternative um, I've got one from Ico and Pixie by Petra also it's a clear brow gel um, so coming here I've got my concealers so I've got all my um, pomades so I've got two MAC ones I've got um, Paintly Paint Pot and what's the other one and Soft Ochre which everyone uses also so I saw everyone um, use this and everyone said it was a dupe for the um, Paint Pots by MAC um, this is by Maybelline. This is super creamy and pigmented. This is perfect to like put on your eyelids to start prepping for your eyeshadow. I've also got this one from Christian Dior. Um, I don't know why, but this has dried out so much, and you have to literally use so much oil to try and get somewhat of a pigment. Um, honestly, not worth it at all. Maybe I've got a bad batch, but I don't recommend it. So I do have a NYX one. Um, I've got two Boing ones. And then here I do have um, a Makeup Forever palette. So it's got all different shades in there. Um, I've got LA Pro Girl Concealer. Um, Makeup Revolution, MAC. Um, wake Up. Uh, Rimmel Wake Up Concealer, sorry. <laughs> um, I've got the Yves Saint Laurent one, Tarte, Dior, um, Urban Decay, 
three Nars one. I've got Fit Me, which is amazing. I've got the Fake Up by Benefit. Um, Dior and this one's Chanel. So I do have quite a lot of concealers. Um, because like my skin just changes colour so often. So yeah. <laughs> um, also this, when I went to the beauty show, they were um, promoting this set. So it comes with like two powders, um, a light and a brown, as well as um, a highlight. And it comes with brow stencils. Um, unfortunately, my brows are too thick for these. So they'll be amazing when I have clients um, makeup to do and they've got thin brows. So I can use the stencils, which makes my job easier. <laughs> So that's for that drawer. Um, the next one is, so as you can see, um, so here I've got all my like liquid liners. So I've got this one from Anastasia, it's the jet one. No one talks about this, but oh my God, this is amazing, super pigmented and black. Um, I do have two from MAC. So I do have Catch My Eye and Black Track. This is my second one from Black Track. I used to, I was obsessed with it. <laughs> Um, I got a Kiko one which is like a gel and then also I got this one from Inglot um, so so white gel this is super pigmented um, it's very creamy when you first put it on and it dries matte and then I do have some um, liners as well so this one's from Too Faced um, Essence these ones by Maybelline are my absolute fave like I've got so many and I back up as well um, I also got this from Revolution to help me do all those like graphic white eye makeup and um, so yeah the rest are literally all Maybelline and um, here I've got all my eyeliners um, I, I've got more colorful ones so like blues greens mostly from NYX um, where's this one from this one's from OG uh, da, 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 da. yeah from Saffron NYX Too Faced Kiko so yeah, that's my eyeliners, mascaras. So I do have quite a lot of drugstores because honestly, like the only ones that I have spent money on is the Better Than Sex because I love this when I want full lashes. But the rest are like all cheap ones. So from Collection, um, Flamar, Maybelline, L'Oreal. This is such a dupe for Better Than Sex. I've got a spare one there. <laughs> um, so there's those. And then I do have some mini ones um, from MAC. This one's Urban Decay, Pixie, and then also Tarte. So that's my liner mascara drawer. So in the next drawer, I've got all my powders. Um, so yeah, uh, mostly my compacts here. So like Sephora, Inglot, um, MUA, Sephora again. I've got um, Laura Mercier, Inglot, Collection, MAC, Chanel. And this is by... Um, a company I actually got gifted this is by Yogari Supin Powder. <laughs> that's so that's that. And then here I've got some of my used um, ones. And um, so I've got the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is so pretty, I just love the packaging. Um, I've got my Dior loose powder. Um, I've got a Chanel one, which comes out really pink, but on the skin, it leaves the skin looking amazing and flawless. Um, I've got another Laurie Mercier, I've got um, Smashbox, who's this one? Uh, NYX, Kiko, this is also, literally, I think I've gone through like 10 of these so far, and they're so cheap, they're perfect for oily skin. Um, I've got Revolution, MUA, um, this one my nephew broke, but <laughs> I don't want to throw it, because there's still a little bit in there, so... Yeah, maybe I need to throw it. And um, here I've got my NYX. It's like contour palette. Um, I've got two Anastasia ones, the cream and the powder. Um, Kat Von D. The, is it Locket? Yeah. <laughs> and then also this one by Too Faced, which is... Um, so it's got three different powders. So it's to help you like lighten your face. Um, so yeah, those are my powders. My next drawer is some of my lipsticks. Um, so here you'll have all my liners so I've got some Kylie, I've got Huda, I've got this um, my sister's um, colleague gave it, Dazzling Daisy um, Primark do some amazing lip liners guys honestly like this one is from them I think it's like £2, it's super pigmented and amazing um, NYX, Essence, W7, I've got quite a lot of MAC um, 
so yeah that's all my lip liners um here i keep mostly of my like nudie pinky shades so i've got some nyx uh, lingerie ones kylie this i got in a set for makeup revolution toothpaste uh, da -da -da -da. yeah that is some makeup revolution um i've got three of the tom ford lipsticks um I'll show you one so you will see a lot of these like movie shades because that's my go-to um, lipstick. So I keep these here. I've also got um, a YSL one which my cousin sort of squashed. So it's like broken my heart a little bit. <laughs> um, also like when Burberry first started doing makeup I bought this. And I remember in Selfridges when I was working there they literally had like one or two items. So I did buy this lipstick. Um, the pattern is gorgeous and the, it's super pigmented as well like it is actually worth it and the lid is um, magnetic so it just goes into place um, so I've got a Kylie one this smells amazing oh <laughs> so I can't open it so yeah it looks like that And they're not even that expensive like you would have thought they'll be quite pricey but they're not <laughs> um so i got bobby brown i've got some mac urban decay cat one d atar jeffree star um fancy beauty when they first launched these i've got some dose of color and here i got my mac um it's a coconut lip scrub and also this one is from the body shop and um, so it's like a minty one and then i do have two of my fabulous um <laughs> what they're called yeah whatever <laughs> um here i got some of my cheapish um which i used to collect when i was younger and um, so they're like l'oreal rimmel um i've got some Too Faced dose of color again here i got my mini uh, kylie jenner set my color pop um, revolution dose of color Um, and then here I've got, well these should actually be here, so yeah, another lingerie and then I've also got um, this which I got off eBay for that £2 makeup look. And then here I've just got my set of um, the Christmas edition of the Smashbox glosses. So that's, um, obviously this isn't all my lipsticks, you'll see some more on the top, but yeah, this is what I've got in the drawer. So the last drawer here, I'm just going to go down. <laughs> um, so here I've got all my primers and setting stuff. So I do have some Sephora, Professional, Smashbox. Um, I've got the Milk. Um, I can never pronounce this. Vaseline. And the Unicorn Drop. This smells amazing. So I've got a couple of Mac Oil ones. Oil, um, oil Control. NYX. Um, Killer Shine, which is amazing. L'Oreal Inflammable. Um, Too Faced. Huda Beauty. Yves Saint Laurent, this is gorgeous, it's got um, like gold specks in them. Um, I've got MAC Prep and Prime, Kat Von D, Stila, and at the back I've got a Dior one. And then for like face mist and um, setting sprays I've got Urban Decay All Nighter. This is amazing for oily skin guys, like if you've got oily skin you need to get this. It literally keeps my makeup on all night. Um, I've got MAC Fix Plus. I've got two revolution and um, so it's a fixing and a cooling one and then also um, a face mist by Bobbi Brown and then I've got a spare MAC <laughs> one as well as um, I keep this here just to help with um, cleaning my eyes so yeah that's that drawer so now on the top section so here I keep my most used um, lipsticks liquid lipsticks so I'll start from here so I've got a couple of my Chanel, um, Charlotte Tilbury, Dior lipstick. This is um, the Maximizer by Dior, so it like helps to plump up your lips. Um, I've got quite a few of the full size Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lipsticks, and then these are the mini ones. These are like the cutest little things, they're so tiny, but they're so pigmented as well. Those. Um, I do have, let me bring this here, um, so I've got quite a few of the Huda Beauty mini liquid lipsticks, so I did buy the um, the gloss set, 
I've got the nude set and then I've got like the reddish the dark set <laughs> and then these two came in um, those like lipstick tins which I actually use um, but this is the Muse one which is a perfect mauve colour and because I used to buy a lot of Tom Ford they always give me like little samples so they're my two little samples of their lipsticks um, so here I've got my MAC so these are all my MAC lipsticks um, so I've got these little capsules from I forgot their name um, but I'll link them down below for you they fit perfect and before honestly like I never knew I had my lipsticks like here but I didn't memorize all the names so this comes in handy because I know exactly what color I want to wear where they are and if I want like um, a satin finish a matte finish or whatever finish I'll be able to see them so I'll just put it there and um, this is by uh, from Mulek by the way um, my sister got it for me for Christmas thank you <laughs> um, and then this one here So here I've got my larger um, Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. So I've got quite a lot of like nude shades. Um, and then I've got my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. And then I also got her Christmas edition, like the three set. This is gorgeous. Like when you put it on, it's stunning. And then I have four of my Christian Louboutin um, lipsticks. These are gorgeous like they're so heavy as well um i try not to use them because they are very pricey um but they are gorgeous to look at i do have two sh um two red shades and two nudes so let me just so say. these are the shades that i have so you, this is like the classic um Louboutin red sole apparently that's what they say but it looks quite dark compared to this one this is more of a coral I've got like a mauve one and then a nude one so this is the satin and this is the matte and the same with this um, this is the satin and that's the matte so they're just gorgeous so look. all these um, containers that hold my lipstick they are from the same company um, so I'll link them all down below for you and um, they've also got an Amazon account as well as um, eBay or an actual website so you can definitely purchase them from anywhere um, so moving along here I've just got four of my Louboutin nail varnishes they're just so pretty like I just love this extra detailing that they do such a oh it's a mission to open these but this is what they look like how gorgeous are they like I literally just got them for <laughs> um, to keep on my vanity um, this one was one of their Christmas limited edition ones so it's like a snake print silver it's very holographic and um, here I just keep some like jewelry that I'm wearing on the day um, a watch this is a gold necklace that I got from Dubai so it's got um, let me just put it here so it's my name basically written in Arabic <laughs> so I'll just put that back there and then moving across I've got this pot which has all my beauty blenders as well as my real technique um, ones here I've got all my um, contacts so these are by TTDI they are super literally they're so amazing they're not even that expensive so I buy these from M7 um, Sun but they're like more Halloween they're not for that everyday kind of look like you'll look like a weirdo wearing them <laughs> um, but these look so natural they actually make you look like you've got whatever color eyes you're wearing um, so moving across these containers are from Ikea so here I keep my real techniques Bobbi Brown and um, B collection by Superdrugs um, let me just take this out so at the back here I've got all my um, cheap brushes that I got off eBay, they're like literally £10 for 32 sets. Um, I usually use them when I'm doing like Halloween looks because they're not that expensive so if they break then I won't be as bothered. Um, I've got some BH Cosmetic which I got in TK Maxx, Real Technique, um, I bought these Morphe ones, they were actually on sale so I have picked up a few. Um, this one has like all my colourful brushes um, so like any basically these ones all have either gold or silver um, 
things on them so i keep them all in there whereas anything that has that color i'll keep here so i've got some real technique um b collection what else <laughs> oh uh, bobby brown um so yeah that's those so i'll just put them there and then excuse the brushes because i was doing um two makeup looks today um so here i keep all my face brushes so like foundation brushes i've got some, um, a lot from sigma which i love and um, this one is amazing for your foundation it's by huda beauty um sigma again what's this one zoeva um radial i think that's how you pronounce it um elf this is by um Fanico, I think it's Fanico. Um, they actually I won in a giveaway, so quite lucky to have those. They are super amazing brushes. Um, so I've got some brow ones by Anastasia, Zoeva, um, Royal Technique, Benefit. So the Benefit brow one. Um, Anastasia again, like for highlighting. And obviously, I've got all the like mini ABH ones that come with the palette um i think that's it <laughs> so yeah those are my brushes so they look like that and then i've also got this twisty mirror which i use to obviously do my look okay so on the right side i have all my highlighters and let me see if i can bring this there you go so i've got all my palettes so i do have the anastasia right at the back my Huda ones, um, Revolution, the Moonchild which I'm obsessed with. I've got the the liquid glow drops, and um, so I've got one from Makeup Forever, and then I've got two from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Makeup Revolution liquid glow, and then these are the um, new artists dapper drops. These are honestly the most like pigmented drops that you will ever need. Honestly, this will give you. A blinding look if you want that kind of um outcome honestly i would recommend it they i think they're like 25 to 29 pounds for free and um, so i did choose like the pink and gold tones um so here i've got my Too faced um highlighter another Too faced this is such a waste of money honestly let me get my other hand like there's literally no pigment in this at all that's probably the worst purchase i've had um i got my dior one fenty beauty so this is the um hustler baby so with this one i wish i just bought the hustler but at the time um it had just launched so they didn't have it single but this one here there's like initially nothing on it like it doesn't show anything but this is super pigmented like you can actually see the reflex of it so this and i love the packaging i love the simplicity of it um, so I did buy a Becca one when I went to New York this is blinding this is gorgeous it literally gives you that glow um, it's perfect for the inner corner and your brow bone and then I've got a few of my MAC ones here um, so here I've got my pixie one this is a really nice it's subtle but it gives you a very beautiful like glow within um also this is so cheap for how much pigment you get um it comes out quite pink but honestly like when you have that blind you don't care <laughs> um so i do have my one of my favorite um this looks disgusting now because obviously i've used it but it's the anastasia um featuring like amrezy highlighter this is probably like my favorite highlighter um so I do have the um, the old like Hollywood ones by Anastasia. I've got two more here. I've got this as well. It's honestly it's beautiful, but it's not worth the money. Like there's literally nothing. So I use my finger. I've used my sponge. I've used the brush. Literally nothing comes off it. It doesn't show. So it's the one by um, Laura Mercier. It's probably one of the worst purchases also that I've made. Um, I've got my Tom Ford, um, so this is like a contour and highlighting duo, so it looks like that. 
Um, I don't really use a contour, but the highlighting one is, is beautiful. I've actually used it in a couple of um, where I've put it in my eyelids for like a light, shiny <laughs> um, shadow. And then at the back, I've just got three of my Revolution strobes. These are so cheap, so pigmented. If you can't like um, afford high end um, highlighters, honestly, you can get the outcome you want with these. So that's that straw. So my next straw is my bronzer and blush. <laughs> um, so at the back, I've got my little container which has all my MAC lipsticks. Um, so the first thing here we have is my Tom Ford. Um, um, it is huge. It is massive. Like, you get so much. It is very pricey, but honestly, you get so much for your money. And what I like about this, um, you can layer it. So I'll go with a very light hand and just build it up to the um, pigment that I want, which is amazing. Um, I've got this NARS one um, casino. I've tried to get the Laguna one, but um, it was it, it literally didn't go for my skin, so I did pick up the Laguna one. So this is like one of my go-tos. Um, I do have the Chanel Soleil de la Tan or whatever. I always say that way, but it's not right. But yeah, um, this is like a cream bronzer. It's perfect for the summertime to give you that natural glow. Um, but also looking sun-kissed. Um, I do have the blush kit by Anastasia. So I, I'm obsessed with this shade and that shade. Um, I, to be honest, I don't really use these two. <laughs> so that's those. And then I do have this blush by um, Makeup Revolution. So it looks like that. And it does have like... So it's a highlighter and blush together. So it gives it a really nice glow. Um, so here I've got my Smashbox bronzer, I can't talk, <laughs> um, my MAC compacts, I've got Sleek, MUA, um, Sephora, Revolution, Maybelline, so those are those. And then here I've just got two of my Anastasia blush um, trios. I actually picked these up in um, TK Maxx guys, so keep an eye out. <laughs> um, I've got my bronzer by um, Inner Style Saddle. By ABH. I've got a Makeup um, Forever bronzer, a Dior one, a Chanel one, and a Charlotte Tilbury. So that is my blush and bronzer drawer. So the next drawer is my foundations. Um, so, disclaimer <laughs> honestly, like, no one should really have this many foundations. Um, my skin changes very often like one day i'll look pink one day i'll look olive one day i'll look tanned white it literally changes so that's why i've got so many different foundations and they all have different um what's it called so they all feel different on skin some are super matte some are like sheer some are medium coverage um so yeah <laughs> that's why i've got so many so at the back i've got some extra ones for my makeup revolution uh, sorry, Makeup Forever, um, Chanel, and then I've got Mac Studio Fix, as well as my Stila right at the back. Um, so I've got my Dior Air Flush, Cab Van D, um, Urban Decay, Tom Ford, Fenty, Nars, Chanel. <laughs> um, Huda, I've got four different ones because, again, um, I bought them during the summer, so obviously I was getting a tan, so my skin was becoming, obviously, tanned. Um, and at work we had to wear makeup, so yeah, that's why I got that. I got Dior, MAC, um, another Chanel. This is one of my favourite um, to look super radiant, um, but also full coverage at the same time. I got the Dermacool um, foundation. This I've used once and I'm in love with it. It's the Hourglass um, Stick Foundation. This is gorgeous and it's very heavy as well. <laughs> um, I've got an Anastasia Stick Foundation. Um, Estee Lauder, so more Huda Beauty, Laura Mercier, Stila, Born This Way, MAC, To Make A Revolution, Inglot, and this looks really funky, um, it's my Smashbox. So this is like my more high-end um, foundation drop. And then this is my Superdrugs one. So these are all my cheaper ones. Um, so I do have a Maybelline one, which I'm trying to get this shade, it's always sold out, which is really annoying. Um, I've got Sephora, Maybelline, um, 
This is the Kiko one, which I haven't used yet. Wet and Well, this is gorgeous, honestly. I use it in one of um, my looks on Instagram, and it just gives you a flawless look. I've got Sleek, which is a bit too dark for me. Milani, this I don't even need to powder. Like, my skin is oily, guys, and I don't need to powder with this foundation. I don't know, it, sh it sits perfect on my skin. Um, so as you can see, I've got both um, a pink tone and a yellow tone of my True Match foundation. So as you can see, my skin does change. <laughs> um, I've got three different shades in the um, Makeup Revolution. I bought three because I didn't have testers and I had no idea which shade I was. So I did get F1, F2, no sorry, F1, F3 and F5. So like in-betweens. And then the same thing for the stick foundations. And then I've got L'Oreal and NYX. Um, here I keep my benefit case that all my brow stuff came in because I think it's so cute and then these are all like new makeup um, that I want to try it as well as um, give away so stay tuned and then the final draw is like a messy one so here I just keep all my wipes and um, so like fake blood um, I've got all my brow stuff, hair bands, tweezers this is like my nail section so I've got some fake um, nails nail polishes, filers so all that goodies so there you have it that is all my makeup collection <laughs> um it is a lot more than what one should have but i do collect them as well um i've been collecting them for like many many years so this isn't something that i've just literally gone and splurged on so yeah i hope you like this video and um, leave comments of what products you like what you don't like what you'd want to see next from me and make sure you subscribe Right, see you next time. Bye guys.